Hi, welcome to this webinar about class 1 malocclusions, classifications, etiology and treatments. What is a malocclusion? Malocclusion can be defined as irregularities of teeth and jaws beyond the accepted range of normal. Dr. Edward Engel who is considered as father of orthodontics, explained the first indices of malocclusion, which is based on the sagittal relation of the teeth, dental arches, and the jaws. Later, many other classifications were developed by the researchers in the field, but still, Engel's classification is being used widely because of its simplicity. Angles malocclusions are classified as class 1, class 2 division 1, class 2 division 2, and class 3. Angles class 1 malocclusion. Class 1 malocclusions are described as the presence of a normal interarch molar relationship with the mesiobuccal cusp of upper first permanent molar occluding with anterior buccal groove of lower first permanent molar. Normal relationship of molars exists, but the line of occlusion is incorrect because of malposed teeth, rotations, crowding, spacing, missing teeth, or some other causes. Approximately 60% of orthodontic cases fall into class 1. The types of class 1 malocclusions can be classified as crowding of teeth, spacing of teeth, transverse discrepancies, deep bite or open bite, and impacted teeth. Etiology of class 1 malocclusions General factors These are heredity, congenital factors, environmental factors, endocrine hormones, and some pathologies. The heredity may be uh, dictating tooth ratios, the relationship of the jaws, and soft tissue patterns. Congenital factors may be birth injuries, side effect of drugs during pregnancy. Environmental factors can be habits like thumb sucking, or disorders in feeding style, swallowing, mastication, or speech. Endocrine hormones can cause cretinism or acromegaly, and pathologies, some of them like osteodystrophies, tumors, infections, traumas, and burns. Local factors can be divided into inherited factors, abnormalities in the size and number of the teeth, like missing or congenitally missing teeth, abnormal tooth shape and size, and supernumerary teeth, transposition of teeth, impaction of teeth, and abnormal labial frame. Environmental factors, premature loss of deciduous teeth, retention of deciduous teeth, loss of permanent teeth, delayed eruption of permanent teeth, failure of tooth eruption, sucking habits, trauma, local pathological factors, and displaced teeth disturbing to occlusion. Management of class 1 malocclusions The treatment of class 1 malocclusions should aim to improve the aesthetics and the function of the teeth and jaws, to relieve the crowding and align the teeth within the arch, and to establish ideal COCR balanced occlusion. 
for the diagnosis of a class 1 malocclusion, three main orthodontic records are needed. A clinical examination by the orthodontist to check the dental malocclusion type and the general oral health. Study models on which we can make some model analysis like Bolton or Hayes dance. And radiographs to diagnose the sagittal skeletal malocclusion or any impacted tooth or tooth agenesis. This is the end of part 1 for class 1 malocclusions webinar. See you in part 2.